hi so welcome back so in this video i am going to show you how you can connect uh, influx db time series database uh, to the node.js um, there are many ways you can set up your influx db you can use it in cloud you can use it in uh, like your own computer or you can use it in docker so today we are uh, going to use um, docker to first uh, start and mount our uh, influx db volume and later we are going to write a node.js code to communicate with this influx db so let's uh, go to cmd and since it's written in different lines so i'm just copying this uh, individually and then we are going to mount it in this folder and finally this influx db latest is the latest image we are going to use so let's start i have already installed docker in my computer so that's why i am uh, not going to install it again <clears throat> first you need to install docker and then you are going to run this so i think it has been started on our port 8086 so let's go to localhost no not 3000 sorry 8086 okay so we have this uh, docker container here so we can say uh, admin and you can set your password as one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so now once you have set up everything uh, you will see something like this load your data build a dashboard and set up alerting and then maybe you can go here uh, to api tokens and I have already generated some tokens here, but I'm going to generate a new token here, uh, all access API token. And let's say it's for testing purpose, save. And I'm going to copy this token and I'm going to save it here. Uh, let's first create a file. Um, index.js and let's say i'm just going to copy it and also um, so once our docker is running what we can do is we can go on this uh, documentation page and we can see that in order to uh, communicate with influx db we need uh, um, in order to query and write data we need npm install influx db so we can do this and instead of just save um, we can do this actually i've already installed npm in it and i have already gotten this package.json file so i'm just going to install this npm package and it's installed so what we can do now is we can actually um, go here and we can see how we can write the data so let's go and go to the right example uh, first of all we need to import this and then we need to create uh, so let's go down and do this import we can do this so our url will be http http localhost 8086 is the port number our token will be this which we have copied i can use environmental variables but right now i'm not doing it so if we go here uh, we can actually uh, wait we can see the members about so we have this organization id we have this organization name is youtube i have already created so i don't know if i can create another so let's create an organization uh, new and let's give the bucket name is storage youtube so let's create it and if we just go and load our data the storage YouTube is uh, the bucket name so we can just uh, go and name our organization as new and 
storage youtube is our um, bucket name so okay so what we can do now is uh, we are going to first create a new uh, instance of influx db and then we can define a write api using organization and bucket and here they are using the region because they are using influx db in cloud so we are not using it in cloud so i'm just going to copy and paste this code so basically what this code is doing is first of all it is taking all the environmental variables from for influx db the url the token which allows us to write and read from influx db this is the organization name you can have your own organization and this is the bucket it's just like amazon s3 and then then you initiate the influx db then you initiate the write api and then you create a point so this is the temperature point and uh, the tags are this is the sensor id and this is the value of temperature we are using and then we are printing console log and then we are writing it and once we have written we are going to close it and we are going to print write finished and uh, let's say i want to create another point no later we will do it later so let's uh, let's just uh, first start it and before that i'm going to change it to um, const influx db is equals to require because we are using it in uh, node.js environment so let's do this let's let's run this node index.js okay so this is insufficient permission for writing okay so let's go and uh, I think this is the new so we can create a new API token for this uh, organization so let's generate a new one copy to clipboard and let's paste it here let's see if it works okay so you see uh, actually the first token we created was for the YouTube organization because I have different multiple organizations here if you see I have this YouTube so basically the token was generated for that one but now I created a new token for my new organization and then I have a bucket and I have written a point here and we can actually go and see the point so let's go here load your data you see storage temperature value and this is the sensor id and if we submit we can see the value 24 here because it's just one point so that's why it's showing like this uh, so what we can do now is we can create more points let's say uh, we are going to copy it we are going to say it's point two and the new point is actually the pressure sensor and we can say p01 is the sensor id and the value is 1000 and we can print it as point and we are going to write point 2 now like instead of point 1 so let's just do this and let's write it so basically uh, what we have done is we have created a new point point 2 and now we are going to write it again so let's do this so here we have point one which is temperature sensor and this is the pressure sensor and we can actually go and see the value here so let's refresh it so you can see the pressure value is here and p01 and the value is 1k 1000 which we have put so once we have everything in the right API, we can just go and see the read example. We can see how we can make a query. So basically, if you go, uh, you need to use the query API functionality. 
and then you need to define a flux query and th then you need to iterate through all the rows and print the data so we can go to the complete example we have already imported this we have already this uh, query api yeah we have write api first so let's do query api now uh, okay so instead i will just create a new file read.js and const query api and i'm going to copy these things from here uh yeah okay so query api and then we can define our query we can define our query from bucket what is the name of our bucket storage youtube okay uh, instead we can do it like this i don't know if we can do it like this but let's try bucket is bucket and instead of this we can actually use these things to show the dynamic variables and to okay so from bucket we are going to uh, start getting the data from zero and we are going to filter the measurement temperature and what we are going now is we are going to define our query we no sorry we have defined our query and now we are going to iterate through all these rows so basically if you go to this data and if we click temperature in temperature we have value we have a measurement of temperature field of value and sensor id of tlm and the value is 24 the value is 24 and then we have a timestamp here so basically we don't have any location because uh, in the example they have used location for cloud scenario but we don't have any location so we have a timestamp then we have a measurement then we have a sensor id then we have a field and then we have a value and this function my query it is going to take the flux query iterate through all the table rows and then it is going to console.log all these values so let's try to run node read.js so query api is not defined okay so we need to first define the query api um, okay let's go here oh okay query api okay so it's this and um, instead of new influx we can just do this let's try running the code again it's bad request and it's saying we have a problem with uh, the bucket okay so let's let's write the bucket like this storage youtube okay so we got this value so basically we are st starting from range 0 and we are getting the value so we just stored one value of temperature and let's uh, let's do node index.js and before that let's try to write these two points together point 1 and point 2 so node index.js node index.js and node index.js we have run this three times and now we, i think we have four points so let's go and read dot run read.js so we can see we have four points here so basically if you go to read.js what we can do is instead of temperature let's take pressure because the measurement we added was pressure and let's try this okay so you see we have this pressure value of 1000 1000 and we have added it four times just like temperature so basically this is how you can actually uh, use node.js uh, to communicate with influx db you can store your data you can actually write a code which stores your data to influx db because it's a time series database and then you can uh, 
create an API in the backend which actually retrieves the data for you. Maybe in future I will create uh, an application, an API, which allows us to write the data in InfluxDB and allows us to read the data from InfluxDB too or we can actually see if any data is present for a certain date or and there are a lot of things we can do with uh, InfluxDB instead of uh, like uh, putting range we can actually uh, put uh, an uh, exact time where we want to store the data and we can actually um, see if we have this if we have uh, like the documentation link here because in the documentation yeah so in influx api write documentation it gives you everything how we can write data and uh, how we can uh, let's search time so basically we can define the time range like start and stop if you want to delete it if you want to add more data and this time range actually requires a start timestamp according to RFC 3339 and stop and then like we can put anything uh, as per our requirement and we can uh, we can list all track we can create a task we can send a post request where we can uh, send this measurement like this here so you can use this API information and you can uh, continue integrating your application with InfluxDB uh, and you can write and read the data from InfluxDB uh, so basically that was it so thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye